Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing an unboxing and some first impressions of the Google Nexus 5. I have been awaiting this device to come. I know a lot of you have been waiting for uh, an unboxing video from me. I did decide to go with the white variant. I kind of figured a lot of uh, reviewers would be getting a black variant. So I went ahead and grabbed the white one. Uh, I also have a 16 gigabyte uh, variant as well just because a lot of my music and multimedia is stored to uh, cloud storage. Anyways, let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the latest device from Google. All right, so here is the box on the front. I want to make a quick note that you see the second image to the right here. If you bought the black variant, you will not get this second image. The second image lets you know that this is the white variant. Also, you'll notice that it, it buying the white variant doesn't mean it's all white. The front is still back black and the back is still white. Uh, flip it over on the back, you'll see again another white uh, version of the Nexus 5. I also wanted to go ahead and show you guys the bottom. All right, real quick, looking at the bottom, just wanted to point out all the radios that this device supports. I cannot stress enough how uh, awesome it is that this device can be activated on almost every U.S. network except for Verizon, including Sprint, uh, AT&T, T-Mobile, uh, Unlock Networks. This one phone can be used on all of those networks, and I think that's just great. That's what manufacturers should start doing is including all these radios in their devices so they can all just be a uniform device sold to uh, all the different carriers. All right, enough of me talking. Let's get this thing open up. Sorry about that. Just wanted to fill you guys in on some of that stuff. So open this up. Just a white box says Google in the bottom right. Uh, it is sealed. So all right, let me grab this knife real quick and just uh, pop these open. Um, and now let's go ahead and slide it out. It is a little bit uh, snug. As you can tell, it's not very easy to just slide right out which is fine with me, obviously keeping the device from shaking around during shipment. Okay, grab that, and there we go. So you will see Nexus 5, it's just a film right over the device. Can pull it out right here, and there it is. Awesome. You'll see on the back it does say Nexus. I'm going to go ahead and just cover up that sticker, um, but yeah. Looks very nice, actually. The back looks very clean. I don't know, hopefully it does uh, stay clean as well. It doesn't get dirty. Uh, it's got a very uh, nice matte, white matte looking finish to the back of it. And then on the front, I'm gonna just peel off this Nexus 5 screen protector that is on there right there. I'm also gonna put the device to the side for just a second. Um, I just wanna go ahead and show you guys what's in the box. While I put it to the side though, I'm gonna let you guys check out the boot up screen, just the first boot up so you guys can see it uh, turning on. So there you go, there's Google. While that's booting up, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the rest of the box. So inside we do have some uh, literature, safety and warranty booklet. We also have uh, the SIM card, uh, I guess something to pop out the SIM card with, that little tool. Uh, just information on how to turn on your device, information about NFC, all that good stuff about your Nexus 5. Throw that to the side, and of course, in the box, you have a wall outlet and a micro USB cable, so um, nothing out of the ordinary with that. You can go ahead and open up the micro USB cable, see what uh, size LG did include, so I can compare it to the other manufacturers. Obviously, I'm not gonna really show it to you. It's not that big of a deal. I just like to uh, see, okay, so again, with LG, uh, looks like longer than Motorola and HTC, but a little bit shorter than Samsung, but still a decently uh, sized uh, micro USB cable. But overall, that's actually all that's in the box. The phone is still booting up, which usually doesn't occur. Usually it boots up before I get through everything in the box, which is interesting. Um, my guess is just because it was the first boot up, that is why that happened. But uh, here we go. So now we have uh, the start screen here. Um, it says insert a SIM card. Uh, insert a SIM card. If you uh, obviously are on a GSM network, just use that SIM card. If you're on Sprint, you actually need to get an LTE SIM card to put into this device. You need to contact Sprint either through Sprint Chat, go to a store. Hopefully the store would have extra SIM cards to give you. Otherwise, you can use a SIM card on a previous device. So if you have an S4, HTC One, Note 3, I believe a Note 2 as well. Some of the newer LTE devices have SIM cards. You can slide that in there and activate it as well. You use the IMEI number 
um, and on Sprint you just leave out uh, the last digit to activate it. So that's it for Sprint users. I'm gonna skip it for now. You do need to connect to a Wi-Fi network to actually get past this, so I'm going to do that now. All right, right away it is saying we need to do a system update. Uh, it says it could take up to five minutes. Okay, so while it's doing the update, I'm actually gonna show you the design of the Nexus 5. Going to peel off, you'll see there are just uh, some films over the sides, so peel that off. Peel this film off, um, grab that, and there's one on the top as well. So they really wanted to protect this device, uh, I, I noticed. Um, I also took off that IMEI sticker at the bo uh, on the back so you guys could see the full device. There's also a little film on the over the camera lens as well, which is great protecting that. So make sure you take that off, otherwise pictures might be um, influenced. All right, so anyways, on the back, you'll see Nexus. It does say LG down at the bottom. Uh, a pretty prominent camera here, especially stands out because of the white back. Down at the bottom, you do have an LED uh, flash. Uh, on the right side here, you will notice that, uh, of course, it is uh, all black on the front. Also, this little earpiece here will be black if you did uh, order the black Nexus 5. So just kind of keep that in mind. Also on the sides here, it's a more glossy finish as opposed to a more matte finish. Uh, so that's actually another difference between the black Nexus 5 and the white Nexus 5. You do have a more glossy finish on the sides here. Uh, but uh, you have volume up and down right, I'm sorry, not volume up and down right. You have the power button on the right side here, right up here all the way near the top of the device. That's it for the right side. You have the SIM card slot as well. Flip it over on the left side, you do have volume up and down right up here. So up, down, up, down, give you an idea of where it is on the device. Down at the bottom, you do have two speakers right here so it's a very similar design with the speakers to the actually lg g2 which i have right here so they have two speakers down at the bottom as well um, and then up at the top you do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with volume rocker and uh, i believe uh, sorry not volume rocker along with a microphone what, what am I, I just really want to just uh, turn this phone on and use it you'll see it's still downloading the update i believe uh, the update's 4.4.1 so it's decently sized 125 meg i'm gonna let it run through actually and then we can get things going all right boot it back up once more and it took me back to the welcome screen it looks like i'm gonna go ahead it may have done a factory reset all right, got into my Wi-Fi. I'm not gonna set up anything for you guys just so we can go ahead and get to the device and just check it out. So run through the setup process, finish it, and here we go. We are now on the home screen with the new Google Experience launcher. It says make yourself at home. Hangouts does SMS, so you will notice there's actually no messaging application inside the app drawer. It's just Hangouts and that's it. Uh, the icons are Pretty large, actually, with this launcher. Speaking of the launcher, by the way, there is a way you can get this launcher on your device. There's a way to get the new Hangouts application. There's a way to get another, uh, a bunch of various um, KitKat things on your device. I'll link to those in the description in case you are interested in downloading and putting those uh, on your device. Anyways, pull down the notification bar real quick. Uh, go to the settings. You'll see it's a different color. They got the black and white look to it as opposed to the hollow blue that they used to have um, in Jelly Bean. So a little bit different there. Go ahead and hop into settings. You'll see some of these toggles still have that hollow blue as well. We can scroll down, go to about phone, and it is Android 4.4. I take it back, it's not 4.4.1. I thought it was, it's not, but just another update to 4.4, no big deal. Uh, model number, Nexus 5 as well. I've not put any SIM card in. As you can see, I have no signal bars at all. But anyways, wanted to do a quick comparison. Let me grab uh, my Nexus Nexus 4 here actually. So here is the Nexus 4 running KitKat as well, a custom ROM actually on it, not the official build. But you'll see the screen on the Nexus 5 is just a little bit larger, 0.3 inches. Actually, it's like 0.25 inches, I believe, to be exact. Uh, don't hold me to that if that's the exact math, but it is. Uh, I believe 4.95 inches on the Nexus 5. So 5 inches and then 4.7 on the Nexus 4. Uh, so a little bit upgrade to the screen. You got upgrades to the camera the processor, various things. So you'll see here's just a quick look at the backs of the two devices as well. So the Nexus 5 is larger, it's taller as well. You have a, a bigger screen, so it's taller, uh, but it, it does feel like it, it is thinner. So the Nexus 5 is definitely thinner than the Nexus 4, which is a nice improvement. So it's taller and slimmer as well. It looks great. Uh, you'll notice when we line up the screens, actually up at the top, 
The top has less of a bezel. You'll see uh, the screens are lined up at the top, but the top of the Nexus 4 goes up higher than the Nexus 5. It looks like they got rid of the side bezels are thinner as well. Um, so those are just some improvements as well to the device. Overall though, very similar design with the headphone jack being on top. You got the volume, uh, you got the volume and power button in the same spot, along with the micro USB slot as well. But you do have a different uh, speakers being at the bottom, which is an improvement in my opinion, as opposed to it being on the back on the Nexus 4. So that's really nice. We can open up, open up the camera application. I'm not going to remember my photo um, location, but we can tap the focus, and then it uh, you can take a picture with this button. It just quickly snaps a picture. You'll see not very much shutter lag taking these pictures, it does focus real quick. You can mess with all those settings. You can swipe over and just take a look at the pictures. I will post uh, some pictures taking, taken with the Nexus 5 actually. I'll share those on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus so you can follow me there. Uh, with the home launcher, of course, I actually have a full review of KitKat 4.4 if you wanna check that out. I'll link to it in the description so I'm not gonna go over everything. But uh, overall, the feel of the device is nice. I like the matte finish to the back. It has a very nice feel to it. Um, I wish the sides actually had that matte finish as well. I would have preferred that, but that's just a personal preference of mine, which the black one does, so keep that in mind. But that's just about it. Looking forward to using this for a good amount of time, and I will do a full review video very soon, so please be sure to uh, subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below, of course. And uh, let me know what you think, though. If you got one of these Nexus 5s, what do you think? If you're going to, if you're not going to, let me know what you think of this uh, highly anticipated device actually. So uh, be sure to leave a comment. And uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.